It is Chase Briscoe restarting on the outside of row one. Green flag in the air. Ryan Sieg on the inside. Right behind Ryan comes Harrison Burton. Further back, Ross Chastain's going to stack them three wide. Denny Hamlin goes three wide. He'll dive bomb under the slower car of Colby Howard. That'll move Denny up to about the eighth position. Front of the pack, it's uh, Briscoe away with the lead. Briscoe away with the number one position. You got Ryan Sieg in second. Harrison Burton in third. They're looking three wide, maybe even four wide for a moment with Hamlin on the bottom, racing outside the top five. But Denny will have a cooler head and roll out of the throttle, and they make contact just in front of Hamlin. Riley Herbst and Brett Moffat bounce off of one another, but they get away. Everybody gets away for the moment. There is smoke off the Brett Moffat machine as well. He may have gotten a piece of that. Now Colby Howard's in the wall. Brett Moffat's putting oil down. There's a big streak of oil on the extreme outside lane right now. Colby Howard is in the fence. Jeffrey Earnhardt got sideways and managed to save it as uh, there's a problem, a big problem on the Brett Moffat machine. Well, you're exactly right, Dave. We stay under the green flag. We've got one car after another getting into the fence and spinning. Later, Chase Briscoe's around. He got into the oil and spun. Backs it into the outside wall. Makes incidental contact. He's down and on the apron. Up and into the fence now goes Anthony Alfredo. He takes a vicious lick into the outside wall and at the exit of turn two. And Josh Balicki has spun at turn four down at this end of the racetrack. No fewer than nine. Nine cars spinning or smacking the safer barrier because of fluid being put down from Brett Moffitt's car. We went a full lap on both ends of the racetrack with cars in the fence and spinning around. Nevertheless, the caution is on the speedway for the seventh time. We welcome you back to Darlington Raceway for the moment. The caution flag is still flying here at the start finish line. However, the field has come to a stop over on the Boeing backstretch here at the Darlington Raceway. We expect the red flag to come out, and it does as we speak right now, as Rich Keeter puts the, the red flag in the air with his left hand, takes the yellow, and puts it down. Jeff, there's a heck of a cleanup that's going to have to take place. Well, we've got to go back uh, a lap and a half before we saw the caution flag come out. You called it as they were coming across the start-finish line Moffitt was on the outside of a three-wide battle. We could see smoke immediately as he made his way into turn number one. Dave Moody then pointed out a significant amount of, amount of fluid being laid down by the O2 car of Brett Moffitt. And then one by one by one, they began to get into that fluid, and around they went. And let's start over in turns one and two. That's where Dave is, and then we'll take you to the other end of the property where Mike Bagley is because once the fluid was laid down, Dave, it was on. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. I think very clearly Brett Moffat, when he made contact, I, I believe, uh, with the 18 car of Riley Herbst, either knocked an oil line or, or an oil fitting off or just put a hole in the oil cooler. Either way, by the time they got to turn one, that car was just bathing the outside groove in fluid and uh, it took a whole lap to come back around and get uh, briscoe spun around he was relatively fortunate did not make hard contact with the wall the same cannot be said for anthony alfredo who absolutely walloped the safer barrier at the exit of turn two mike bagley over in turns three and four there were more cars slipping and sliding there were and hard to tell if it was a, a residual from uh, what the moffitt car was doing in one and two but you also had some cars slipping and sliding, perhaps maybe running through it off of two down the back stretch. And when they went to take the set to come into th turns three and four, it was just uh, it was just on from then. The Matt Mills car spun to the inside, but a couple of others also slid up and picked up several Darlington stripes in the process. Well, it was hard racing between Anthony Alfredo and Riley Herbst. And Brett Moffat was right behind trying to figure out which one of those lanes was going to open up and go and he just flat out ran out of racing room, slapped the outside wall, and obviously knocked an oil line loose, perhaps, but laid down fluid around the racetrack. And we were talking just a moment ago, when was the last time you saw something like that happen? I mean, I, I just, you know, I'm going to scratch my head and say, I don't recall the last time I've seen anything that affected 
drivers in turns one and two and then again in turns three and four. Yeah, when a car is putting fluid down on the racetrack all the way around a, 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 a 1.3 mile facility, there are going to be cars that are just going to slip and slide. Their spotters doing their best to try to tell them about what's going on with the fluid going down. But it was a tough break for the race leader at the time, Chase Briscoe, Winston Kelly. He's already come to pit road one time. As we sit under the red flag, clearly no one can work on race cars, but what's the damage on Briscoe's car?